what is Hori? What is Hori? Yes. It is a kind of fear. It is fear. based fear of fear. something that is going to happen or happen. It is basically fear of something. If we accept, we expect something that it should happen, the fear that it may not happen. We expect that it should not happen, the fear that it may happen. So, this is what is worry. Anybody else? Any other explanation? Insecure. People who are master daily know the easy. Even insecurity is not worry. That is different. That is totally different. The fear of insecurity is concerned whether something will happen or not. That's what she gave a beautiful dark ray. <laughs> she has given a crystal clear picture about the way. What we tell for previous actions? That's guilty, not worry. Desire. 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 Desire is not worry. If it is not happening, we will worry. Desire is the seed for worry. Because worry is become empty. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> worry is the juice of life. Yeah. Really? Please. Never think that without worry you can live. Worry is an intimate enemy like wife or husband. <laughs> <laughs> You can't live without it. You will be continuously fighting, quarreling with it, but we can't live without it. You will feel empty. Life has no juice. Worry. The exact few words you can say. The feeling of shrinking. which makes you shrink. The collected ovaries, when the ovaries are collected and deposited, it becomes a layer. That layer is called depression. Depression is nothing but the collected ovaries. For example, if you become a failure in some business. And your mind is telling to yourself in your inner chat, when you are talking to yourself, you are telling, whatever I touch will be like this one. Whatever I touch, it becomes a waste. I will not be able to perish in anything. I am hardening to do this. My fate is very missed. My life is not right. We will just try to blame, try to condemn ourselves. The thoughts which were creating to yourself, those inferior words, those sentences repeated continuously to yourself becomes story. The words which you repeat continuously, the words which you which makes you shrink, the inferior words, that is what is called Kori. Kori is nothing but creating these inferior words continuously in your being. Whatever I touch will not come forward. Whatever I touch will go out into the brains. Not only about us, about others also. We have got a regular mind sentences. Oh, today morning I seen you, that's all. All my business will go away. Regular sagunas, 
these all are deeply connected to Tori. You have so many ideas, the left-wing ideas, so many ideas to pull you down in your being. That is what this story is. In your own mental chat, inner chattering, in your own verbalizations, you have these selected words to play. With these words, you try to live. These words are only called as stories. Mind with which you are living. You don't know anything except your mind. You are nothing but your mind. In Tamil Nadu, there are optional people who go for crying when somebody dies. So they know many songs. <laughs> and if you pay them, they will come and cry in sleep and make the atmosphere. You see, everything needs an atmosphere. <laughs> Even for this, you need to create an atmosphere. To create the atmosphere, <laughs> they will come and cry and see. And they will beat up such a with so much speed, I will sort of see in uh, when I was young. <laughs> Those people when they are brought, they will beat uh, in their chest. They don't know how they are bearing the pain. <laughs> so if just crying can help. Y'all can try. Only will make only one more problem. We have been promised, if you worry about it, there will be one more problem. It has already given one more problem. Most of our problem is not even a direct worry. It's worrying about worry. Many people come to me and say, Swamiji, I have lots of worries. All right, without worries. Then why do you worry? They are worrying about their own worries. The worry itself becomes one more worry. Continuously worrying about worrying, continuously bothering about the problems, creating worries. That leaves physical and mental disturbance. Nothing else. If it leaves solution, no. If it leaves solution, all of us can sit and cry for the next one hour. That will be the great meditation technique. It is not going to create any solution. It will make only it will more dull and dead. It will make our being more dull. Nothing positive can happen. How to come out of this story is the meditation technique which you practice now. How to come out of this poison? How to handle this poison? Coming out, you will not be able to rather than to us. You need to live the worries. You need to balance your life with the worries. One thing. You need a clear intellectual idea about worry. By worrying, no problem can be solved. The first clarity. By worrying, no problem can be solved. Do you think any problem can be solved by worrying? No problem. Anybody who has solved any of their problems by worrying? Someone, we can share any of your experience. Now this session on which will go in a we are sharing, it will not be a monologue, it will be a dialogue. Yes. Anybody who has because now we are going to experiment with the basic truths of life. Whatever your experiences, you can share, you can analyze it. None of us have solved even a single worry single problem by worrying. Any of us who don't have worry? Anybody who says that I have no worry? 
So all of us have got some or other worry. Nobody has solved even a single worry, even a single problem by worrying. Worry can make, can make only the problem worse. Worry is very deeply related with stomach, with money world chakra. By worrying only your stomach gets upset. You end up with the physical problems. Worry and stomach is very closely related. That is why in all the languages of, world, of the world, there is an expression, I can't digest it. If something wrong happens, I can't digest it. I can't stomach it. In Tamil they say, in all the languages, there is an expression. Any other language, this expression? Hindi? Pakistani. Hmm? Hmm. In all the language, there is an expression. Kannada? This expression. Hmm. If something wrong happens, something which can't be Digested, it can be adjusted. Immediately say, I can't digest it. And you yourself can check with your own, in your own life. If some problem which you, you are not able to manage, if it happens, immediately first response will be from your stomach. The stomach will get upset. First, that only will happen. You will either have diarrhea. Or indigestion. <coughs> Diarrhea or indigestion. Because the Manipura is very closely related with Oris. Now, let us have some more idea. Ori means nothing but the few words which you are continuously using with yourself. There are two kinds of talking. One is talking to other, another one is talking to yourself. Talking to others is dialogue. And talking to yourself is called mind. Mind means don't make any mystical idea. Don't think there is something very I think so many ideas about mind. We have a wrong notion. Mind means nothing less except your own inner chatting. We all have got many ideas about mind. So we think controlling mind is not an easy joke. Controlling mind is not an easy job. Controlling mind is a very great thing. You need a lot of purpose to do. We have heard so many ideas from so many books. Control your mind means it's a very great thing. No, just look what is mind. Of course, if you are not, if you do not have the right key, no door can be opened. Opening the door will be a big problem. If you get the right key, any door, even the door of air, in play with yours. When we are talking to others, when we are talking to somebody else, we are able to beautifully manage the word, control the words. What we think we never speak, what we want only to speak. If we speak what we think, no single relationship can be maintained. I will take care of you. I will take care of you. <laughs> Just to sing the same word. Inside, I will take care of you. Outside, I will take care of you. So we know beautifully to play with words. Continuously playing with the words, cheating others. We learn the technique of cheating ourselves. Continuously you are cheating others. 
You are thinking one thing and speaking another one thing. That is why our words are the last value. When Vivekananda went to Chicago, in his first meeting, when he addressed the American audience, the first word which he spoke is, Dear brothers and sisters of America, the clap was so good. Ten minutes people are not able to control their excess. They were simply in another world. Because he was authentic in his words. He was not playing hypocritical double game. What he spoke was his feeling. When it came from heart, it has directly touched the heart. The experience was transferred. It was not simple communication, it was communion. Today, all the street corners, politicians are shouting the same words. But nobody is touched by those words. Because it is not from an authentic experience. Just like that, we manage our mind so cunning. We have become a schizophrenia. Thinking is one thing, talking is another one. Our head is in one way and heart is in another way. <coughs> head and heart both does not meet and merge together. Then how will you reach the being? Our being is centered in Manipur Chakra. That's why today morning, first chakra I touched was heart. Unless you come down to heart, you are already in the head. Unless you come down to heart, I will not be able to take you, take you to the being. Now they are going to enter into the being. The core of the mind is being. The words continuously which you are talking to others, to cheat others. After some time, you become so cunning and polished. Not only you are cheating others, you learn how to cheat yourself. Many people come to me and say, the Swami, I have a headache, please be healed. But when I hold their hands, the energy will be very clearly showing that they will be having some problem in the stomach. They have lost touch with themselves. Their own mind is just cheating. Their own mind. We have become so masters of cheating, of misguiding, of therapy. That our own mind is just cheating us, cheating us. When our mind cheats us, that is what is Ori. Ori is nothing but an idea, nothing but a system that our mind is using. Just our own mind is not at ease with ourselves. It is just cheating ourselves. The inner happening was different. The mind's projection is different. This is what is Ori. Whatever happens inside, we never tell it to anybody else. Happening is different and talking is different. Just the same way, even talking with yourself, you try to hide many of the things. It has become a habit of hiding, habit of not revealing the truth even to yourself. Many times you suppress many of the truths which is existing in you, anger, lust, Greed, everything, you just suppress it. You don't, you are not ready to look into it. Your mind is saying, no, no, I don't have anything. You don't even look in your own being, the anger, the depression, whatever you have in you. You are just trying to hide. You feel that you are perfectly good. This idea only creates depression and worry. Worry is nothing but 
your own inner chanting words which you are with which you are playing. If you know how to make your inner chanting touch, when you can manage your words with others, why can't you manage the words with yourself? Can't you manage to talk to yourself? You are able to manage with others. What you want, you are talking to others. Same way, can't you manage your own talking? Very. This is the only key, this is the mantra to control your mind. Have this mantra, be very clear. This is the mantra. Technique to make your mind solid. To make your mind clear. This is the key. When you can change the words which you are talking to others, why can't you change the words which you are talking to yourself? This is the gist of this. This is the key to open, to unlock Manipura. You are talking to others, you are able to control. When you are talking to yourself, why can't? Whatever you are talking to yourself, you will be able to control. Only you have an idea that you will not be able to control because you have never tried to control. You have never tried to control. Any situation can be transformed into this and expressed into living. And any situation can be transformed into living. It is not the situation which decides, it is we who decide. You are the deciding authority. The words which you are talking to yourself, which you are using to yourself, only creates the whole situation. Any situation you can transform it, transfer it into a beautiful, happy mood. If you know the right words to talk to yourself, if you know how to make the whole thing into a line, you will be able to really transform yourself. You can make it early. Or you can make it the words, just the words. The very same situation. If you are not using this word, the regular system, what will you, oh, nothing has been corrupted, what will happen? The regular sentences, instead of those sentences, if you replace the positive sentences, your mind will become totally different. That is what we call it neurolinguistic programming. We know how to program computers, but we don't know how to program our own inner computer, the biocomputer. It's just programming. Mind is nothing but a child. Nothing but a small kid. Whatever you teach, he will repeat. Whatever you teach, he will repeat. Your mind is nothing but a simple child. We make him complicated by teaching complicated things. If you don't if you say there are blind proofs to your mind, your mind will never make you worry. We make everything complicated. We don't disclose any truth. We don't look any truth as a truth. We just try to capture everything to our own way for our convenience. Finally, it helps us. We are only getting hurt. So try to look the truth directly. The mind is nothing but your own inner chatter. <laughs> you can really program it because it is in your, your, own, your own words. The words which you are talking to yourself is mind. Nothing else is mind. Now we will enter into the technique, into the meditation technique. With which you can go beyond the inner chattering, the continuous verbalization. If you have tasted energy, if you taste energy which is inside the verbalization, which is our being, even once the whole mind will be under your control. 
Now you are all have got a big head part. And if we want to make some other in some other shape, if you want to make some other thing from the cave, first we have to break this part, make it a powder. Then only we will be able to give a shape which we wanted. So now we are going to break our mind. We will enter in the technique of breaking our mind to make it again a simple clay. Then we will be able to use the clay, we will be able to give the shape which we wanted, which we require. What is the inner shape? We have discussed. Of inner chattering. Inner means nothing but the whole species of music to yourself. It means what? Your mind is nothing but the language which you know. No mind. If you are already there in the state of energy, this technique is not needed. But none of us have tasted the real energy zone. So this technique will take you to the zone of energy where there is no mind. And especially when it is practiced in this group. And I am just waiting to enter in, into your being. I am just waiting. My energy is just waiting. If you give a small gap, then you continuously use the type of sounds. Your mind will naturally pray. In that small gap, I will just touch you. You are, you are God in yourself. You are just standing, not allowing me in your being. Many of you may be thinking, no, no, we are doing. Many of you ask me, Swami, you don't extend your energy into my being. I want your energy. But only there was in the inside, you are just God. You are standing as a, as a God, security. How can I enter? Of course, I won't ask friends. That is different. But, how can I enter unless you allow me? So this technique, I will make the God to sleep and I will enter. So I will make the security to sleep or give some anesthesia. I will be able to enter into you. So allow the security to sleep. Put the security to sleep. Completely involve your whole being. Don't be apartheid. Don't be half-minded. That is why first day, first discourse I started. Have deep faith and trust. If you have deep faith and trust, you will be able to put your whole mind into the taking. What are you going to do? Next session you are going to die. And you will actually kill. It's a dead meditation. It is something to do with swanshtan. Unless you have deep faith and trust, how will you be able to enter into the techniques? Into the meditation. It is not even taking, it is a real incidence, real things. So if you deeply enter into this technique, you will really touch the zone of energy.